Hey folks, thought I'd share a, a great image. It's a great image of strength. And this is what this video is about. It's about your inner strength. And I, I thought I'd talk about the subject because what a year people have been having. And there's so many at the moment are going into dark places that they need more emotional coaching. There's a lot more self-harm going on. People are feeling like they've lost direction. People might have had new businesses they wanted to start, places they wanted to travel, relationships they wanted to open up, and all these things. And in many cases that was shattered. And because we've been moved around so much and told where we, what we can and can't do, but the most important thing I'm seeing is that there's a lack of inner strength as to making decisions. So I want to tackle this subject head on. And if you're feeling a little bit light, it's worth watching the rest of this video because I'll give you four things that I think will help massively. So the first thing is don't beat yourself up. I think a lot of people will sit and watch, get inspired by something and go, oh my God, I should have done this, I should have done that. And they get really self-reflective and they get angry because they haven't done certain things. But the truth is, as on a global level, that the vibrational frequency and the energy of the world has been thrown off center. And so many people are trying to find that center again, reset their compass. Success is the progressive realization of a worthy goal. So think about that for a moment, the progressive realization of a worthy goal. It's not like I've suddenly had to achieve it, it's actually the growth you go through. So I've got four things I want to share with you on the screen here. Hopefully you can see them. I think they're there. And the first one is beliefs. Now, when I wrote the Turning Point book 10 years ago now, that book, when I wrote it, one of the big elements of it I really wanted to get in there was how to look at your beliefs, how to build your beliefs, how to strengthen them, but also how to look at old beliefs and break them apart, the ones that are not supporting you, and restructure a new set of beliefs to the point where you may have to burn a list of the old beliefs. And I get people to do that live. If I was with them, working with them, coaching, that's what I would do. So I'm not with you right now, but I can give you these four things and I know it'll work for you. So the first thing is, Go back to your core beliefs. What do you truly believe in about the world, about success, about yourself, about what you achieve, what you can achieve, about the people that you can put around you? They're really important questions to answer and write it down on a piece of paper. And secondly, what are you passionate about? And try and tie your passion to your beliefs. Yes, things might have gone for a bit of a waver in this last year. Your compass has been drifting all over the place. But somewhere along the line, the core person who you are, your identity, your beliefs and your values will be centered towards one thing. So start to think back on what you're passionate about. What are you passionate about in the past? And are you still passionate about it now? Yes. OK, well, then let's get back on the saddle and let's get moving forward now. So sit down and really catch that. What am I passionate about? What do I still want to do? What, am I, what experiences do I have? And then on a scale of one to 10, number three is how much conviction do you have towards these things? You might have listed out four, five, six things that you're really passionate about. And you want to be hitting an eight and above. So if it's like, yeah, I'm passionate about that, maybe in a seven or a six, you're probably not going to make it happen. But if you say, yeah, I'm still passionate about that, it's like an eight out, out, out of 10, a nine out of 10, or a 10 out of 10, I really want to do this. Good, park it over there. Another one is a six, park it over there. Eight over there, five over there eight over there, six, 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 four, eight over there. So you might pick out four or five key things that you're really passionate about, that you have conviction. Remember, we're trying to get back into that zone of getting your mojo going. And then the last thing here, outside of implementing these things, in other words, get your beliefs strong. What do you believe in? What do you believe about yourself? What are strong beliefs other people have around you that you love, inspired by, that you can bring into yourself? Create that passion again, stir it up, feel to them out, which ones have you got the most conviction on? And now what steps do you need to put into place? That's very important. But along the way, you need to create a shield. And the shield is basically an invisible shield that you can picture. It could be like your Superman or your Wonder Woman or your Iron Man. We have this, for me, I love the concept of Iron Man, this invisible shield. So when I go into a situation with negative people, it bounces off me. I don't allow their negative energy to get inside because ultimately we're just vibrational. All we are is just little cells, just vibration, little atoms vibrating. So our vibrational frequency can sometimes be knocked off center or changed if we're around people that are negative. So shield yourself, picture a shield. If anything comes at you, imagine it being pushed away, bounced off, smashed out the park. So when you go into a situation, you get going with it, you feel absolutely powerful. You can lift that weight and you can make it happen. And that's all I'm gonna say for now, because I just want you to use these tools and start to simplify. You know, sometimes we overcomplicate things. We make it too complicated to get stuff done. Often it comes down to these simple things, your beliefs, your passion about what it is, what conviction do you have about these things? Anything you don't have enough conviction about, park it, stick on the shield, put the armor on, and then get out and do what you need to do. That's it for now. Have an amazing day. I shall see you soon.